Schools out for summer, which means college towns are typically more laid back and quiet. Tippecanoe County is home to one of the most recognized institutions in higher education. WRTV's Nico Panisi takes us there to show us what's happening in the warmer months. Whether it's sipping a root beer at Triple X or eating at a chocolate shop that's not really known for its chocolate, West Lafayette is known as the home of the Boilermakers. Lafayette and West Lafayette are two cities, two mayors, separated by the Wabash River. Visit Lafayette, West Lafayette President Joe Wade says summer is a great time to check out Purdue. Explore the campus and the buildings at your own ease and don't have to worry about that changing of classes and tons of students trying to get to their next class. If you leave West Lafayette and head just across the Wabash River, Wade says there's plenty to check out in downtown Lafayette. Our downtown has galleries and local restaurants, and, and theaters, and then we have a lot of festivals. Some of those summer festivals include Downtown Blues and Jazz Festival, Beers Across the Wabash, and Outfest. Over at Sacred Grounds Reclaimed, yeah. business is a family affair. We raised all of our kids in here in the coffee shop. Manager Trent O'Brien says they're known for untraditional flavors like boozy gingerbread or strawberry lychee. And he says now's a good time to try them out because things are more laid back. Right now it's kind of slower because college kids are gone. Another cool thing to check out is the robust public art scene. CEO of the Arts Federation, Tisha Lee, says Indiana's first mural festival, Wabash Walls, was established in 2018. We really want it to be reflective of the neighborhood, of the residents that live in, in the area. Wabash Walls is a public art initiative to rebuild and beautify the Wabash Avenue neighborhood. There are over 100 murals across 14 counties in north central Indiana, but almost half of them are located right here in Lafayette. So Lee encourages visitors to go on a self-guided tour. This is very much a porch community, and because of that personal relationship that these residents had with the artist, if people come and just tour this area, if they see someone out, um, the residents will tell them their personal story that they had with the artist. In West Lafayette, Nico Panisi, WRTV.